Hello friends, today I'll show you how to make therapeutic art with color pencils for feelings or emotional awareness. Before the art, first take a few deep breaths to ground yourself and set an intention for this art making time. The materials you need are first paper, and color pencils. First, divide the paper into four sections. I just like to put a line through the middle point of the paper, vertically and horizontally. Then, depict an emotion for each of the part. Each picture or each emotion should be as different from one another as possible in their use of line, color, and form. Some of the emotions that you could include are happiness, anxiety, sadness, and anger. Remember when you experience this particular emotion and try to re-experience that feeling and create a distinctive image of it using colors and shapes and lines. You can do this exercise to gain understanding and reflect on your emotional experiences. Using colors, shapes, and lines is a safe way to begin to identify and manage your emotions when what you are feeling is very complex or chaotic or confusing. I think that emotions can become a problem when we don't know how to deal with it. We might become overwhelmed or we might run away from the emotions with using things or people or events or situations, or we might not even express our emotions at all. The problem is that emotions are fundamental to our human experience. It's a signal coming from within, a sign that something must be done and we have to take action. Because emotion is simply a signal, it comes and it goes when it has done its job. It's almost like a wave. Art helps us calmly experience the emotions and it lets us learn the lesson, learn the message that the emotion is carrying for us. Emotional expression is very important. We have to learn that not only expressing emotions is acceptable, but also that it is stress reducing and life enhancing to do that. When you are done with the drawing, you can put away the materials and do a little bit of reflective writing. And answer these questions in a journal or a piece of paper. First question is, how is each emotion different or similar to other emotions? And second question is, what sensory words come to mind for each emotion or each picture? So these might include hot or ungrounded or shaky. And one more bonus for you is if you could do another picture for some other feelings, what would they be? What feelings do you want to explore? And actually do that drawing. And if you want to take it another level 
and do a painting of that emotion. That's all for this therapeutic art exercise and reflective writing. Thank you so much for following along with this self art therapy practice. If you enjoyed this, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.